And welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Tanova Healthcare. Uh, they do an excellent job of uh, protecting you and your loved ones. They help to save my life from prostate cancer. And during the month of September, it is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So all month long, Tanova's primary care physicians are offering same day appointments for PSA tests. You can call that number on your screen right there to set up your test. Call, set it up, same day PSA testing. That is the test that saved my life. It's a simple blood test. Thanks to Tanova for doing this all month long. And uh, I uh, ask you, all the males out there, to consider getting the PSA test. All right, we're gonna do something new. Speaking of testing, we're gonna test out a touch screen monitor today. Will Overstreet and Sterling Hinton are over at the touch screen board. Guys, show us a little bit what was positive about these, these, this team so far, what's been negative. Will, I'm gonna start with you and let you be Mr. Negative. All right, thank you, John. <laughs> So anyways, let's talk about one of the plays and one of the issues. One of the areas Tennessee's had struggling in the run, and one of the big things that they try to use is back up this tight end a little off the run. They block down right here, and what this tight end is supposed to do is come around and pick up the first man. Hunt being a little, Wolf, excuse me, being a little bit younger guy, he's got to get accustomed to the faster part of this game and get used to that these guys are very fast and they're not going to be waiting for you when you get there. So a couple of plays in the backfield that have cost lost yardage have been that the tight end comes around and is not seeing this guy getting there fast enough. And then you have it, big plays happen that way. So a little of that area has been some issues. The other issue I've seen in the offensive line is the problem with picking up guys as they move to different areas. So as far as the TE tackle games, where this tackle comes up and takes up both of these guys and you see the tackle wrap, there was a few times where pressure really played a part by those two guys mixing around. Well, some of the positive things I've seen are basically right here, this man, Mr. Sutton, and this man right here, Mr. Johnson. They're playing some high level football right now. As a matter of fact, what I want to do is change it to my color because I'm going to make sure you definitely see it. Give me something. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go to the yellow right here. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Sutton. Cam Sutton made a couple of plays yesterday. He tried to do a little bubble screen with these two receivers coming out to block him and he actually got to the third guy that was right here and made a tackle for a loss, a two-yard loss. That's an incredible play in Division I football. Also, what I like to point out what I think is a strength is this young man right here, Mr. Worley. Mr. Worley is really doing his thing. And I tell you, I'm excited for this guy. We said the word pleasant surprise last segment. This guy is a surprise and is a pleasant play for being a senior at that position. The guy who leads the team and is definitely putting points on the board, which is why I said a few weeks ago, our offense should score 30 points every game. <laughs> That's right. But Sterl, huh? for him to be good, he's got to be upright. This is your problem area. Uh, it, it may, it's, it's just a problem from experience, but I tell you what, my friend, and this is what I'm going with. If he can tell everybody where to be, huh? Then talk to me now. If you got three guys running here and he makes the right decision and he's getting the ball in the shotgun, that's enough time for these guys to get open and make a play. Well, we shall see. I think it's the number one problem we're listening for. Anyways, John, a couple of different areas they need to improve on and hopefully against Oklahoma, it's going to be quite a challenge. And a few positive that Oklahoma is concerned about, baby. <laughs> All right. New Sterling had to end on a positive. Very good. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks to WATE for allowing us to use their um, grand new fantastic technology. want to welcome in the next member of our panel today, former Vol offensive lineman David Ligon. David and Shazan, I'll start with you, David. Anything there that stood out to you with what they were pointing out that you agree with or disagree with? Uh, no, I, I agree with it. Uh, particularly, I'm, I'm looking at the offensive line, being a former offensive lineman. And, and as Will was talking about, you know, the, the games, the stunts with the tackles or, or tackles and ends on the defensive line, you know, it's pass game and it's run game. Those are some issues, and, and we may cover those a little bit later here. I'm, I, I'm going to have to agree with my main man Sterling. I hate to do this, but um, Cam <laughs> Sutton is a, it's, it's coming on, yeah. and, and, and he's right. He, he, he should have enough time to – to where they stay in the pocket, throw that ball out there, got three receivers, hit one, and let them go down the, down the highway and do the job. Yeah, I don't know how much time he's going to have to do that and how open those receivers are going to be when you get into tougher competition. But I will agree with you completely on Cam Sutton because that guy, you know, there's some people that are just playmakers. He's a playmaker, and I think he's only going to get better. You're right, David Ligon. We're going to talk about the offensive line next. This is interesting. For those of you who are wondering, well, where is the run game? Why are they getting so much pressure on Justin Worley? Uh, David's going to explain how – 
a couple of communication breakdowns, some trust among the linemen, knowing what this guy's going to do, how that can mess up a young offensive line. We've also got some eye-popping run numbers to show you that you want to see. Come on back on the Sports Source. Quality, quick, trust fast frame.